decided to go ahead and do a voiceover for this tutorial just so that we can focus on what I'm doing as far as breaking everything down. Uh, so the first thing I went ahead and did was I did take my e.l.f. eyelid primer. Um, I absolutely love this primer. It is more sheer, um, which is mostly like all primers. Um, and then I go ahead and take my beauty blender and I just kind of make sure I dab that in all over and blend it out really well. And then, um, as you'll see, I do go ahead and take my finger just a little bit and I make sure that's blended really well. So the first step of the cut crease, what I do is I take what I like to call my packing brush and I go on with like a light coral color. Obviously, you can go ahead and do whatever color that you want, uh, whatever color uh, mixtures that you want to do, you're more than welcome to do. Um, but in this case, I use um, a light coral. I took that lighter color and I went all around uh, my eyelid. And because I don't have very prominent eyebrows, I did bring this color up um, a lot closer to the brow. But again, that's just dependent on your face shape. Um, but I did go ahead and pack in this color. I wanted to make sure that it really stood out um, as this will be the base for my cut crease. Okay, so once I go ahead and make sure that I kind of got the basic shape down, I do go ahead in with a different brush, and this is more of a redder coral. Um, it's a darker coral that I go to the outside of the eye with. And notice that when I'm putting on all the colors, I'm not really dragging anything, I'm more patting. Um, I think that's a really big thing in makeup is to make sure that you're either patting or doing small circular motions. So you're not necessarily dragging the product away from where you want it. Um, you're placing the product exactly where it's meant to be. Um, another part of this is, as you can see, I am going right into the socket uh, because I have an eye shape that basically makes it easier to do it this way. Um, I push that into the socket so that the color um, is all evenly distributed. I do try to blend this into the lighter color um, as best I can at first. Um, but kind of as you'll see that won't matter when we add in that cut crease because I'm going to go over and blend everything uh, before I go in and do the actual cut crease part. So I'm pointing out here that this line isn't exactly straight um, but what you'll see later is I do add a little bit of concealer under that to make sure that I get that line absolutely straight. So next what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a bigger, fluffier brush and I'm just going to go ahead and blend all that out. Um, as you can see, I am doing the small circles again and I'm always trying to blend outwards. Um, when it comes to um, doing your eyes, I definitely like to make sure that I'm blending everything out and up. Um, even though that bottom line, as we saw before, isn't straight, um, you definitely want to give the illusion that everything's going up so when we add the concealer later, it brings that whole eye shape up. Also, this is a really good time to mention that if you're not currently subscribed to my channel and you're enjoying the content, I definitely would appreciate a subscription. It's absolutely free. Or, of course, if you want to like this video, that helps me out as well. So what I'm going to do now is I am going to go in with that con um, concealer brush. It is a very tiny flat brush and I'm using the e.l.f. camo concealer, and I'm just kind of tapping my way of where I want the cut crease to go. At first, this doesn't have to be 100% perfect because I'm just going ahead and tapping in the outline of exactly where I want that cut crease to go.
once I start to get that product blended out and down, um, you'll see that I kind of go and I sharpen up the line at the top. There is a little bit of excess, but again, we'll fix that later. Um, especially in this look where I am going in and I'm using this concealer crease as my base because I'm going to do more of like a yellow and coral look. Um, so once I go ahead and get everything how I want it, um, I definitely put on a little more product so that I will grab to the yellow eyeshadow. As you see, I did put a little more product on there and I am kind of blending it outwards. Um, you do see the basic uh, crease type. And now what I'm doing is I'm going in and taking another packing brush and I'm just packing in that yellow color into the outline that I created. Uh, this is more of like a goldish yellow, um, but on camera it does look more yellow. Uh, but it definitely uh, creates So here you can see that I'm really packing on that yellow color. I definitely want it to um, pop as far as the crease is concerned. And of course, I'm always just patting. I'm never really dragging any of the shadow, especially with that um, under concealer on it. Another thing I want to point out is I am following, um, for obvious reasons, I am following the crease shape that I created. Um, want to try to make sure that you can stay underneath that. Um, you want to get real close to the cut crease, but you don't want to get above it. Obviously, it'll just mix with everything else. Um, and then I go, go ahead and I take that blending brush and I'm just going in the small circular motions and pulling outwards um, to mix that yellow with the outside of the eye. Now I do go and I blend a little bit up into the brow because I'm going to go ahead and highlight that later as you'll see. So this next part is completely optional, but what I did was I took a little bit of concealer and went in the inner corner of the eye, and then I kind of took this glitter palette that I have that I've been trying to want to use, and I did go ahead and put a little bit of a glitter shadow inside my eye to give it that little bit of an extra pop. That purple tool you'll see is kind of like a flat silicone brush, and I think it's really good to press on any type of glitters or anything along those lines. Again, this part is optional, but I just kind of wanted to give it that little extra pop. So after I went ahead and got the glitter on the inside of my eye, I did go off camera and added some, um, added a lash and some eyeliner. I don't know what happened with that top liner today, but talk about that another time. So I am going ahead and taking this concealer as I explained earlier and going upwards to kind of give that eye that extra lift and kind of clean everything up on the outside. Um, as you notice I am just pulling up never dragging downwards um, and it does give that eye more of a lifted effect. And then what I do is I just kind of take my um, beauty blender and I just go in there and I really just kind of blend that out give it a nice snatched upwards look. So basically, as far as the cut crease and everything is concerned, that's basically the full look that I wanted to show you today. The next step, what I do is totally, again, optional. Um, but what I do, because I do want my brow to stand out a little bit more because I barely have one, is I do go ahead and I take that highlight, or um, I'm sorry, the concealer, and I go a little bit under my eye and then I make it a little bit thicker at the end and I 
do this just so it gives that brow a little more of a pop and it kind of blends everything out together. Um, as you notice, I don't really touch the crease part of my eye, but I do go ahead and take that blending brush and kind of just blend that all out. So after I go ahead and blend that out, this is basically the finished look for the cut crease. Again, this is just a beginner's guide to kind of give you a spot of where to start. Again, you can use any colors that you want. If you did enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, and we will see you guys next time.